So this week I'm on the seafront to welcome my technique and move above a slow trot and hopefully tuck those crazy arms in and maybe look like a complete loony. But before we get to that, we're going to hear from British track cyclist Pete Mitchell, who with five European medals, two world medals and a world title to his name, should be able to give me some useful tips about learning to ride a bike. Can you um, give me a bit of background about how you learned to ride a bike? Can you even remember when you learned to ride a bike? I can. Um, my dad decided I was going to learn to ride a bike, so he took me down the local park when I was four. Uh, took the stabilizers off and just pushed me off so I learnt it all in in one day and uh, yeah obviously it's become a big part of my life. Um, I've had a little bit of a look at your um, your sort of track record literally see what I did there and um, well, what would you say is your sort of proudest moment to date? I think I think I was I was junior world champion in 2007 which was pretty pretty special uh, you know because the team that I was in was the best team in the world which is really just a really cool thing to say and I think in terms of uh, results at the moment I finished fourth in Beijing World Cup uh, last January which is like after the World Championships the World Cups are the biggest events um, so I think that really sort of put my name out there as a sort of major international competitor which I was really pleased with. Is 2012 on your on your horizon and what kind of how are your preparations going for it? I'm still improving I um, set a personal best time Saturday just gone two days ago so uh, Everything's sort of going as well, as well as I could, could hope. At the moment, they're likely to take three or four guys to the Olympics, and I seem to be fifth at the moment. So there's kind of sort of one person standing between me and where I want to be. So there's still four or five months to make that jump. So obviously I'm going to be giving everything. It's a big, big challenge, but it is, it is supposed to be because it is the Olympics. As you know, I'm training to do a triathlon, and um, I have what is just about five months now before it starts and I know that between now and then there's going to be days when I'm going to wake up and I'm going to feel like I just I just don't have the energy I can't be bothered or it's just going to feel really hard how do you motivate yourselves and specifically you when you feel like that on those kind of days I think what, what is it they say pain's temporary and glory lasts forever so it's that it's that kind of mentality that as much as it hurts the, the more you push yourself the easier and the better you'll feel on the day um, which is and that's the day that counts you know the, the sort of the training days when you're tired aren't the important ones um, so you just got to get through it give it 100 percent and then reap the rewards come come race day come come the sort of yeah the day where it counts one of the things that i've been quite conscious about over the last couple of weeks is is like nutrition and how i keep myself fueled when i'm doing all these kind of things i mean and i know that it's quite easy to burn yourself out when you when you're going through all this kind of rigorous training what kind of things do you do to keep yourself replenished while you're while you're training? Um, I think the, the most important thing to keep up, sort of keep up with um, with the food is, is just a plan. So make sure that you're not missing meals. Um, that when you get in, you've got stuff ready to eat straight away. You're having plenty of protein after you train, plenty of carbohydrates before. Um, and equally, when you are training, yeah, it's, it's a long event, so take food with you. Um, so that if you do feel that you're bonking and crashing on a ride, you've got an energy gel or some sort of snack to give you a little boost and keep you going. I've heard about these energy gels uh, and I was talking to a couple of people where I work about them. They were saying that quite a cheap and handy sort of replacement for them is Jelly Babies. Have you ever heard of this? I, I Yeah, well, I think Jelly Babies have the sugar. I mean, it's good energy gels. They've got a little bit of carbohydrate, um, sugar, caffeine. But yeah... It's definitely, I'm sure you'll be very grateful of a jelly baby when you're, <laughs> when you're dying on your ass, literally. But would you recommend I take them round with me when I'm cycling? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, if it makes you happy, then do you know what I mean? Have your head fast legs, they say, so why not? <laughs> okay, cool. That's good. That's, that's reassuring. That means I can do that. Um, finally, do you have any kind of general advice for me before I start to properly embark upon my cycling training? Um, I say invest in a good pair of cycling shorts. You'll uh, you'll be pleased you did, and uh, yeah, just just get stuck in. The more more hours you can spend on a bike, the more comfortable you'll feel come the day. So yeah, just get stuck in. So get stuck in. Apparently, that's the answer. I'm starting to wish there were more hours in the day. Tune in next week to find out how my first bout of actual cycling goes with Bike It Ben. But back to today, and I think it's time I get running, don't you? So today I was working on lengthening my stride and trying to increase my overall pace. I feel more knackered than I normally do, so I suppose everything's moving in the right direction. I did tuck in the Morris Dancer arms as well, had it a bit more streamlined today, which I was quite pleased about. Lastly, just to remind you to donate to my Rocking Horse charity. 
I'm raising money for them because they do fantastic work in Sussex and Surrey for children who are sick and disabled. So yeah, donate wherever you can. That's at www.justgiving.com forward slash And I'll see you again next week.